hello friends this is another lecture of classical mechanics and here we're going to discuss about equation of motion of one dimensional harmonic oscillator so here we're going to use hamiltonian hamilton's equation of motion right so before we start please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you so let's start so suppose we have considered a harmonic oscillator as shown in the figure and uh, this m is the mass of this block which is attached to this spring with spring constant k and uh, here is the mean position x is equal to zero and it is uh, oscillating along the x-axis right so this length is x right so let me consider that way then kinetic energy of this system that's going to be half m v square v is nothing but x dot right so so x dot is nothing but v velocity right x dot means dx by dt right so that is nothing but x dot right so hope you know these things so and potential energy of a spring so potential let me write it properly this is half and potential energy of this oscillator and that is given by half k x square so i hope that you know this expression that potential energy of a uh, of an oscillator is given by half k x square where k is the spring constant k is the spring constant right so then in that case lagrangian is given by t minus v right so if you use this expressions so half m x dot square minus half k x square so this is going to give you the lagrangian so this is suppose equation number one now let me copy this equation and let me go to a new slide okay so just let me copy this and let me go to a new slide so here we have got the lagrangian so lagrangian l just wait ah uh, just let me arrange it t minus v so this is the lagrangian we have got and we know that uh, generalized momentum px here so i am writing px because it is oscillating along x-axis so px is given by del l by del x dot right and if you differentiate it with respect to x dot so only this term consists x dot it doesn't so it's going to be zero derivative of this going to be zero with respect to x dot so that's why and from this what we're going to have we're going to have half m 2 into x dot that's what we're going to have 2 to cancel so only m x dot left so we can write this is equal to m into x dot right so this is nothing but m into x dot so which implies x dot is equal to px by m px by m so uh, just wait uh, let me give the equation number one here okay so now Hamilton uh, Hamiltonian Hamiltonian is given by h is equal to summation p z into q z q dot z actually so l so here in this system p z is nothing but the momentum p x and the q dot z that's going to be x dot right so that's why therefore what we're going to get h is equal to instead of p z we're going to write p x and q dot z that's going to be x dot so here we're not going to write the summation because there's a single body right this oscillator is single body oscillating this way not so many particles so minus l so l can be replaced by this result just wait let me copy this this is l right so i have used this right so l is equal to this mass so then 
if you remove these brackets then this minus sign gonna be positive right so hope you have understood this and uh, then uh, what we're gonna have here we can replace this uh, x dot by this value of x dot right just wait just replace this x dot by this okay then what you can have so then you can have h is equal to p if you replace this x dot by px m then px px that's going to be px square so we're going to get px square divided by m minus half so m x dot square is replaced by px square by m square so this m cancels m square so what we're going to have then we're going to have px square by m px square by m right so hope you have understood this then plus half k x square now if you subtract these two then what are you going to have half px square by m plus half k x square that's what we have got right so here right using equation number one right using equation number one right so now what we need to do so this is uh, suppose uh, equation number uh, two this is equation number two now hamilton's equation hamilton's equation let me cut these things just wait Hamilton's equation Hamilton's equation so we know Hamilton's equations are nothing but uh, px dot is minus del h by del x and uh, and uh, or simply you can say that Hamilton's equation or pa equations are p dot z is given by del h by minus del h by del q z and similarly q dot uh, q z dot is given by del h by del p j right so here we're going to replace this by x dot and p j will be replaced by p x similarly here p j dot means p x dot and here q j is nothing but x right so first let's take this one uh this one qz dot so if you apply that so we're gonna get x dot x dot is equal to del h by del px okay if that is the case if you differentiate it with respect to px now you see only this term consists px and derivative of this with respect to px is gonna be zero so if you differentiate it then what you're gonna have uh, if you differentiate del h by del px uh, then you're gonna have half so px square and if you differentiate px square then it's gonna be 2 into px right so 2 2 cancels so that's why we're gonna have px by m right that's what we're gonna have okay now this is equation number this is equation number 3 just wait let me simplify this then here you're gonna get m x dot and that is equal to p x right and now you see now let me take this one p z dot that means here p x dot so if you take that one just wait and actually this equation is not necessary we can obtain that one from equation number one is so let's keep it uh, we can obtain this relation from this equation number one directly as well so now from uh, there there are two hamilton's equa equations uh, so first one is this one and next one was uh, next one is and uh, that px dot that is equal to minus del h by del x right so if we use that now you see only this term is function of x uh, this is going to be zero derivative of uh, this part with respect to x that's going to be zero 
so that's why if you differentiate this then so there is minus sign so minus half into 2 into kx to cancel to to cancel so we can write just minus kx okay minus kx if that is the case now you see uh, this is equation number three and this is uh, four suppose this is p dot x right so now you see what we can do from three right from three what are you gonna have m x dot p x if you differentiate it again then you're gonna get this right if you differentiate it with respect to t both side again then you're gonna get this right so now let me use this result here m x double dot p dot x that is minus kx using 4 using equation number 4 so then this is going to give you mx plus kx is equal to 0 and this is the required equation so this is the required equation of motion of 1d harmonic oscillator so hope you have understood this so thank you for watching see you in the next video